What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm working on a bookcase. My wife is a school teacher. She asked me to build her a bookcase, but spend no money. So let's look around the shop, see what I could find, and see what we can come up with. Let's get into the build. After looking around the shop, looks like I found some 2x8 and 2x6. They're pretty rough looking, but that should give me about the width that I was looking for. So I ran them through the planer, and ran them through the table saw, and you know, cut everything down to kind of rough length on the miter saw where I could get everything ready to be glued up. Getting everything cut down to size, I took my two sides and made this little fence so I could use my router, cut some dados, slots, whatever you want to call them, just so I have something for the bookshelf to sit in uh, for some added strength. Here I just needed to trim the shelves back a little bit just so they'll fit perfectly into the little slots that I created. And yeah, then I just gotta dry fit everything, kind of clamp it all up, make sure everything fits, and glue it all in. After letting the glue dry overnight, the frame was pretty much complete. The, uh, after seeing everything assembled, it looked like it needed something else, so I decided to throw a chamfered edge on everything on the front face of it, kind of soften things up and add a little bit more style to it. After sanding everything down and gluing in the top shelf, it's time to put some trim on the bottom. Just kind of mitered the edges on some 1x4s I had laying around and just trimmed them down to flush fit with that bottom shelf.
Next I decided I needed something on the back of the bookshelf. I couldn't just leave it blank. Started uh, trimming down all these 1x4s. I had these 1x4 cutoffs. I just kind of made a stop block so I could burn through them pretty quick. don't have a router table so I made this little contraption up with some clamps and my router upside down. Not the safest thing in the world but it got the job done. I put a chamfered edge on all these 1x4s that I cut just to kind of create that tongue and groove look once I put everything together on the back. You can kind of see here what it kind of is going to look like. After that I decided to clean everything up and get it ready for stain. After getting everything stained and letting it dry overnight, it's time to throw the one by fours on the back. Just locking them in with a couple of brad nails. I think I did like four on each one. And yeah, that about finish it up. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can follow along for future builds like this live edge walnut here. And yeah, you guys have a good one.